Today on Karamo. Beating her, burning her with an iron. Accusations of child abuse. You don't remember putting the iron on my arm? You don't remember that? You don't remember choking me, throwing me down a flight of stairs, and I blacked out had no memory? Today, they will come face to face. Say it over on. me! You better get them for I get them. Oh, That's my trauma. trauma. That's oh. my trauma. Is there any way this relationship can be saved? I hate that woman! Take a deep breath. <laughs> but first... You're denying our baby because of rumors. Has she been unfaithful? I can't trust you. We got to get to the DNA results right now. <laughs> A legend returns to the Karamo Show. Have you thought about what's going to happen if you're not the father? And today, the outcome of an incredible DNA test... In the case. ...is about to come out. Marcus. Marcus was shooting hoops on the basketball court when he heard rumors that his new fiance, Rochelle, was cheating with another man in the backseat of a car. Now Marcus has doubts about being the father of Rochelle's one-year-old daughter. We've given them a paternity test to unlock the truth. Everyone, please welcome Marcus to the show. How you doing? I'm good, man. Can I give you a hug? Yes, sir. Thank you, man. How you doing? I'm good, man. How are See, you? See, I'm good. So tell me, what is the rumor that you heard that day on the court that okay, started so, all of this? Okay, so like, man, listen, I had just took an L, like mm -hmm. on the court, then you know, a guy pulled me to the side, man. He like, man, you know, I seen your fiance, she was in the back of a vehicle with a guy, and you know, mm -hmm. from a distance the car was moving. And you know, we all know what goes on in Got a it. vehicle that's Got moving. It. Man. Did you hear any other rumors about Rochelle before that? Before that, uh, no, sir, but I did hear a rumor. It was, it was like a week later, another guy pulled me to the side, and he was like, man, you know, I seen your fiance at the hotel with a guy, and you know, mm. I don't even know if this the same guy or not, you know? Got it, got it. So, like, it's just, it was a lot, man. And how long have you two been together? We've been together four years now. Four years? Four years, yes. Got it, got yes. it. And why do you want this paternity test? Because I, I really, I just want to make sure that, you know, that She's mine, you know, I have the best of both worlds. I have a son, you know, and I also... You, you two already have one child together. Yes, sir. One child yes, sir. together, okay then. And so are you questioning paternity of both children or just one today? Just one. Just, just one. one, okay. Yes, which is the last one. Understandable. And so these rumors only started recently. Yes, sir. This it was is how like, long? it was after I went public of, you know, proposing to her and things like that. That's mm -hmm. when, you know, the rumors start coming in. Oh. Yeah. So do people often make comments about your relationship? Well, not now, but before, like when I first met her, you know, they was like, oh man, come on, man, what you doing, man? You too young, you don't need to be with that old lady. Mm. You know, you shouldn't have no kids with that not old, old lady. lady. Yeah. Is, she, is there an age gap? Well, yes, it's an eight year age gap. Eight year age gap. Yes, sir. That is not no old lady. Whoever them people are, I need to cut it out. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> they block now, so yeah, okay. I won't have to worry about them. But, but, they, but they're making comments. They're trying yeah, to get in your business, yeah. trying that, to get in your that head. That was at the beginning, yeah. All right, and when did you meet Michelle? I met her 2019, my senior summer. Okay. Me and the guys, we was uh, we was out shooting a music video. Uh -huh. My my best friend, and uh, she had actually rolled past with my cousin, and he spotted me, and he told her to turn around. Mm -hmm. You know, when she turned around, they pulled up. When I seen her, you know, which was it was like August 28th, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it was August 28th, 2019. When I seen her, I'm like, yeah. I told the guys, like, man, I gotta have it. Yeah. You know, I gotta have it. <laughs> and did. later on that night, you know, they, they came in, they picked me up, and since that night, I never went home, man. Uh, man. I love that. That's special. Yeah. Did your family want you to be with her, to date Rochelle? Well, they didn't know Rochelle, so mm -hmm. they didn't, you know, my mother, she, she had doubts about it, because, you know, she was a lot older than I was, okay. so you know how. So even on. mom had an issue with her. Yeah, at first, older. at first, yeah. Okay, at first. But when she actually, you know, actually got to meet her, she, she, she was fine with it. Uh, was there any other reasons other than age that your mother might have had doubts? No, not no. that I know of. My, she never came to me and said anything about it, if it was. I remember my producer telling me backstage that you were pursuing opportunities in basketball and that things sort of um, halted at that time. Yes, um, how did your mother feel about you being a basketball hopeful and then sort of now you're in this long-term relationship with Rochelle? Like I said, she don't really say too much. Mm -hmm. You know, she don't really speak on a lot of things. She kind of keep it to herself. She keep it, it bottled up. Do you still play basketball often? Yes, sir. Are I you do. still pursuing it professionally? Yes, sir, I oh, do. Good job. Congratulations. Yes, I don't. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
And you have two children with Rochelle. Yes, sir. Okay, well, yes, potentially sir. two. You well, have the one. Right, yeah. right, right. And, and do you think your daughter looks like you? No, not at all. Not like, at all. My son, now, he looks just like me. Yeah. You know, I know my features, man. Like, she don't have my nose, my lips, you know, my ears, no nothing, man, you know? Yeah. And how do you feel about all this situation, sincerely? Because at the end of the day, that's a beautiful photo. At the end of the day, you are a young man, and to be questioning the paternity with someone that you're calling your fiance has to be hurtful. Yes, I mean, it is. It's like, it's, it's stressful, man, you know, like, wanting to be there for the kids, you know. It been, it's been a year, and, you know, and it's just... It's been it's been a lot. Man. How, how old are you me. exactly? I'm 23 years old. 23. Yes, sir. So 23 years old, you have um, one child confirmed, potentially another child, and my producer told me you're taking care of also her three other children. Yes, sir. So at at 23, at 23, five kids. Yes, sir. Potentially five kids, four kids with five kids. Yeah. How, how has that been for you? It's 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 fun, man. Like I love it, man. Like I treat the kids like they're mine. They love me. Yeah. You know, and it's just it's been great, man. I mean, we often hear the opposite stories of where young men don't want to play a part in their children's lives. The fact that this young man has decided to play play a part in his own. Good job. Thank Good you, job. Man. Thank you. Um, but my producer told me right now you're sleeping on the couch. Why are you sleeping on the couch? It's like. When I get to thinking about the rumors and things like that, it's just like, I don't even want to be near her. You know, I just want to get away. That way, you know, we won't cause no arguments in front of the kids and let the kids see things like that. Because, you know, when parents go through, when, you know, adults and parents go through things like that, it also hurt to, hurts the kids. Got it, got it. And Did our you... oldest three is also old enough to understand. Got it. Okay, got it. Were you in a household where you saw people get into house fights and things? Was your no, I actually around? grew up in a single-parent home. Single Me, parent my brother, home. and my mom. I hear that. Well, listen, everyone, um, I think it's time to meet Rochelle. So, everyone, please welcome Rochelle to the show to get her side of the story. Hey, Rochelle, how are you hey, doing? How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. So, how do you feel about what you just heard? <sighs> I was back there, and I wish you had some boxing gloves, because <laughs> I would I'd punch him right in his face yeah. right now. You're denying our baby because of rumors. Has she been unfaithful? I can't trust you. We got to get to the DNA results right now. <laughs> a legend returns to the Karamo Show. Have you thought about what's going to happen if you're not the father? And today, the outcome of an incredible DNA test in the case is about to come out. Marcus. God pulled me to the side, man. He like, man, you know, I seen your fiance. She was in the back of a vehicle with a guy, you know, man. Did you hear any other rumors about Rochelle before that? It was, it was like a week later, another guy pulled me to the side and he was like, man, you know, I seen your fiance at the hotel with a guy and you know, I don't even know if this the same guy or not. You know, and do you think your guy. daughter looks like you? No, not at all. Not like, at all. My son, now he looked just like me. I was back there and I wish you had some boxing gloves because <laughs> I would, I'll punch him right in his face yeah. right now because <laughs> it's just like he's believing, you know, rumors, rumors, no text messages, no yeah. proof. Yeah. No nothing. Just what people are saying. Like mm -hmm. you just believe in what people are saying at this point. And it's like, we're here on your show because of rumors. Yeah. You're denying our baby because of rumors. Yeah. Um, for the record, have you ever been with anyone other than Marcus? No, it's been four years. I've dedicated, I've put my all into, you know, this relationship with him. Like, mm -hmm. I don't want to be with nobody else, but if he keep doing what he's doing, I'm going to be with somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> you feel like people didn't want y'all together? I know for a fact they didn't because I'm eight years older than him. Got oh, yeah, and they're talking about old lady. Who old? I look good. I ain't old. You look good. I'm not old. Not old. <laughs> so, well, tell me about the beginning of your relationship. We met four years ago. Um, we actually, his cousin, it was actually my friend, you know, he's the one who introduced us. And he was shooting a music video and like, you know, we hung out that night and he came to my house and he never went home. Mm. And yeah. we just been together ever since. It's always just been me and him. So how Nobody have these haters else? been getting in between your relationship? Because clearly y'all on the show, what other ways are they getting between y'all? I mean, they harassing us on Facebook, like fake pages, yeah. messaging yeah. him, yeah. saying yeah. like, you know, 
Um, like I was at I'm work not... when they was harassing me. Really? Yeah. They they basically telling him like I'm. He deserved better than me. Right. 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 What hurts most about the situation? Because you're denying our child, like you know like it's always us i never go anywhere right. we don't have no friends it's just me and him still, and it's, like, it's no possible way that it's it's no po i know for a fact it's his baby that's just i get that is. i get that but it's, like, it's his baby he, i do leave the, i do leave home sometimes see. when i go fishing things like that yeah. playing basketball at the court i'm but not always I, I'm, and i'm at home with our other kids so yeah. who am i bringing in our house yeah with I other it. kids in there i like, got it i got it well, have any of your other kids ever been denied by their father has this no. ever happened to you? This mm -mm. is the first time. Mm -hmm. So this is a new experience for you. Yes. Yeah. And how um, how's Marcus as a dad? Great, great mm -hmm. father. He's great to my other kids. He's great to his kids. It's just like with our younger baby, I can kind of tell, like I can just see it in his face that it's some type of n denial there. Oh, is he cheating? Treating her different? S I mean, treating the youngest yes, different? and she's one, so of course she don't see it, she don't understand mm. it, but I see it. Are you treating the, the youngest like, different because you're not sure? I wouldn't really call it different, you know, like, it's just, ever since the rumors, it's like, when I look at her, it's like, wow, like, so what you treat And her different. nose, that nose, they, they all got their nose. He got their nose, his mom got their nose, yeah. his now, my, brother got nose their nose. No, that same I know pig my nose, nose. Man. they like, all got listen, that same pig nose. My nose wide, man. She, yeah, yeah, yeah. She, they all she got that same nose. pig uh, nose. Look at I that think nose. it's adorable. I think they it's adorable. They got the same pig nose. How has this affected your intimacy? Mm -hmm. It's been seven months since he even slept. Seven in our months on the couch? Yes. yes. Since he didn't slept, months. since he slept in our bed, it's been seven months. I sleep in the bed by myself. That's a long time. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. What really is heartbreaking for me is that I understand, I remember being this young. Y'all remember being this young? And how the slightest person whispering something to you becomes the loudest voice in your head. Right, right. And what I had to learn and what we all have to learn is that you can't allow that. And I know for you being young, you haven't practiced that a lot. Right, because right. even seven months of you sleeping on that couch, you don't understand that even what that's doing to y'all. Right. Like when you have these situations, whether this is your child or not, I do not know. You have to be able to sit her down and say, look, this is where vulnerability kicks in. I want you to look at your lady right now. Right. And I want you to say to her, this entire time has made me feel as if I couldn't trust you. This entire time has been making me feel that I can't trust you. And when I feel like I can't trust you, then I stop trusting my own decisions. And when I feel like that I can't trust you, I stop trusting my own decisions. You feel me? What you just did there is you're being honest about this because that's at the core of what's going on here. Right, right. And you gotta be able to communicate to her exactly what you're feeling. Because right. seven months on the couch, right now it's all good. She's still being strong enough a woman, but she could be a different woman that says, you know what, I'm tired of this. Right, this is right. too immature. Right. You know what I mean? And then all the way, so everybody talking about she's older, people are gonna be telling her, look, you're dealing with a child. He's too right, immature. Right, He's sitting right. on the couch. Hey, tell him yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. And the thing is, is that you're not immature. No, because for you to step up in this position and be taking care of this household, be doing these things, you're not in this room. Right. 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 Can you make a commitment to be more vulnerable with your lady? You I can. will. I will definitely be, you know, be forward with you, be honest with you. If, you know, if something wrong with me, I will come to you, talk to you, let you know everything that's going no on. No more sleeping on the couch. No more seven. sleeping on the couch. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> But also, can you make sure he knows that you're going to be there for him to let him be a little bit more vulnerable? Yes. Yeah. Listen, all, right. all right. Listen, well, we got to get to the DNA results right now. <laughs> I'm noticing that my envelope is gone. Can you bring it to me? Where's my DNA envelope? <laughs> How are you doing? Uh, you no, 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 you, you want to do no, this? No, this is for you. You got my envelope. Everybody, the OG. More is here. Thank you. Wow. Oh boy. I mean, you got the best man in the business to well. read your results. <laughs> I just want you to know, I've been backstage. I've been listening to your story. Karama does a great job when he gives you advice. Uh, have you thought about what's going to happen if you're not the father? Yes, I have. Uh, no, because he's the father, Mom. He's the father. I definitely, I, I definitely you think have thought I've heard that before? <laughs> <laughs> I think I've heard that in my life. I definitely have thoughts. I definitely, like, if, if I'm not, I'm, 
you know, I'm gonna step away from the relationship. You are. You know? Yes, sir. As you should. So, here's the result. In the case <laughs> of one-year-old mm -hmm. Ayla Marcus. Is he the father of her child? The DNA outcome will be unlocked next. Plus, That's my That's trauma. That's my trauma. Trauma. it's a mother and daughter dealing with major issues. I hate that woman! Take a deeper. <laughs> Do you feel like people didn't want y'all together? I know for a fact they didn't because I'm eight years older now. What hurts most about the situation? Because you're denying our child, like, you know, like, it's always us. We gotta get to the DNA results right now. I'm noticing that my envelope is gone. Can you bring it to me? Where's my DNA envelope? <laughs> so, in the case of one-year-old Ayla, Marcus, you are the father. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. You got to give. You got to give. Thank you. You say. So I know, you know, Paramo has given you the tools for for your situation. Uh, it's it's up to you. By the way, you can watch this when it comes on TV, <laughs> right, right, and so right. therefore it'll be ingrained in you. Uh, and Karama, what you're doing with the show is just terrific. Thank you. Right? Yeah. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so proud of, of what you've done. Thank you. Thank and uh, you. everyone, there's a lot of drama. It gets messy here <laughs> on Karamo, and he's the right guy to break through it. Thank you. Thank you. Don't go anybody. Karama's going to be back right after this. <laughs> Y'all got to know, Maury was the biggest supporter of me getting my show. I wouldn't be sitting here if it wasn't for this man. I wouldn't be here. This man. My <laughs> brother, thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you all! <laughs> Maury! 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 Beating her burning her with an iron. Accusations of child abuse. You don't remember putting the iron on my arm? You don't remember that? You don't remember choking me, throwing me down a flight of stairs and I blacked out, had no memory? Today, they will come face to face. Stay Come on, me. you better get them for I get them. You are the fire. Get off my stage. Toriana says she vividly remembers her mother beating her, burning her with an iron, and making her fend for herself. But her mother tells a different story. Take a look at this. I'm worried about Toriana. I love my kids, and Toriana, that's my firstborn. I hate that we have got like this. I miss my baby, and she do not care. My daughter is a narcissist and a pathological liar. She making up lies about me and everybody else. You smoking weed, you drinking, and then she even lie about that. She tells people I starved her, beat her. People think I'm an abusive mother. None of that's true. We have a strained relationship to the point I feel like I just hate her. I can't take this no more. That's why nobody wants a relationship with you. Mm. Toriana, thank you for being here. Everyone, welcome Toriana to the show. So we were watching that together, and I saw that you immediately had a reaction. What was going through your mind when you were listening to your mom say that? That's one of my traumas that hurts me the most. Yeah. That's one of my traumas. 
something hurts me the most. He wasn't even there. I had a miscarriage and I dealt with that alone. Yeah. You wasn't even there. <laughs> you calling me a liar. I'm 21, I can drink, I can smoke weed. It's how I keep myself sane. I hold myself. Yeah. So I don't lash out, so I don't blank. And you sit here and you call the show to try to build a relationship. It's been 21 years. 21 years. You haven't had me since I was seven. Since I was seven. And you left me home. You left me home every day. With four other kids so you can be young and do what you want to do. You starved us when you was mad at us. You beat us. Oh, you didn't burn me with the iron? Oh, let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. You don't remember putting the iron on my arm because I couldn't find grease for my little sister hair and my granddad came and wrapped my arm up that day. You don't remember that. You don't remember choking me, throwing me down the flight of stairs and I blacked out and had no memory of doing that. You don't remember hitting my brother in the nose with a bat? You don't remember hitting my sister and throwing her against a glass table, busting her head oh open, gosh, and we sitting so in the hospital you. room, and she getting staples in her head. So that's what got you when she, on top of everything, when she called you a liar in this. Yeah. It seems as if. I got to lie on you for a while. Why is DSS involved? Why is it involved? People just lying on you. People just making up on you. I got taken away the first time when I was four. They give you the benefit of the doubt to give you, give me back to you, and then take me away again, take all of us when I was seven. Then we all split up. We have to find each other. You didn't come searching for me. You only cared about them. Was she drinking and doing drugs during this time? My mom, yeah, when she hit my brother in the nose that time, she was drunk that time. She didn't even remember how my brother started bleeding. She said it out of her mouth. She literally said, who's bleeding? And we all said, my brother. Like, you didn't remember hitting him in the nose? Mm. Did you have to raise your siblings since you were the oldest? Most of the time, yeah. yeah. Most of the time. Got it. Whew. I'm so sorry for all of the, the pain that you experienced. Did your mother ever visit you when you were in foster care? I mean, some of my residential facilities she came to, but as far as visitation, not often. And how old were you when you were in foster care? Um, first time I was four. The second time I was ten. Ten years old. When we got, got taken away, we was all split up. So I was seven. I stayed with my paternal side of the family. So all of these memories were before seven. Well, yeah. Around that. Around range. that time. Yeah. yeah. Got it. And it's like, how do you dare? How could you look at me and hurt me? I was born with a congenital heart failure. My first open heart surgery, I was two days old. And I had my first pacemaker when I was two. And it's like, how can you look at me and hurt me? You use your trauma, what you've been through, and portray it on us. Yeah. And that's not fair. Like, if I ever have a child, my baby would never have to worry about me hurting me. I hear that. Do you blame your mom for your trauma? Yeah, she's the only thing that sets me back. Yeah. It's the only trauma I hold on to. Yeah. How has it affected your life? Relationships. Relationships? I can't build relationships with people. I have this anger that I just I don't know how to let go. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Got it. And you feel like that anger is holding you back, and part of that anger is because she won't acknowledge? She don't want to take accountability. She lives in this this world where all her children lied on her. We, you just delusional. You don't want to believe nothing. You don't want to confess to it. That's my big thing. It ain't about the relationship. It's about standing in your truth. Because at the end of the day, rather you're here, rather you're gone, you got to sit in front of God, and he's going to ask you about those times. And you got to stand in that truth. Do you want a relationship with your mom? Yeah, because I'm willing to break that generational curse. Got it. Okay. So what do you mean what do you need from your mom today to move forward? Stop telling my business. Stop telling your stop, business. Stop stop lying. Stop trying to make it seem like somebody just trying to portray you as a horrible mother so you need because her to admit. I'm not. You need her to admit. Yes. Got it. You need her to admit. You need her to admit. Why I got are you it. so afraid? Because you want you don't want everybody to look at you that way. But we all, me and my siblings, we all have our individual story of things you did to us. Well, listen, it's time to meet your mother, and I've heard her backstage this entire time. Um, everyone, please welcome your mother, Shamira, to the show. Oh, no, I'm about to get this straight right now. Right now. Right now. Because I brought you. I brought you to this show. At the end of the day, I don't care about nobody out here, Toriana. Do you understand me? Do you understand? No, first of all, first of all, you had your fame, right? That's what you wanted. So let me say what I gotta say. Let me, okay, but the way I knew you was gonna.
gonna lie, Toriana. Okay. But I ain't know you was gonna lie like it's this. Improved. I ain't know you was gonna lie like this, Toriana. I ain't know you was gonna lie like this. And I left a lot of stuff out on Do the strip because fine. I care about you. But first of all, you telling victim. people I, bur I burnt you with an arm when I do that? You did. First when I was of a little girl, all, she was greasing my sister's hair. You said, can you get that grease out the bin for me? And this, I said, where's the grease? You told me the bin. I looked in the bin, couldn't find the bin. You said, come here. Took the iron that was on the iron and burned it, put it right on my own. Let me tell you. Did you, did you? Put that on everything. Let put that me on my tell granddad. You, so. you didn't do that. Let me tell you, you something. First of all, nigga, first of all, come thing. on, mom. Stand come on, mom. Me. You better get them for I get them. The way Toriana is lying is crazy. Accusations of child abuse. Emails, everything, me trying to contact lawyers to get my kids. I got this it. is the truth. I get Can this relationship be saved? So the last time y'all seen each other in yeah. person is five years yep, ago. Yeah, almost five years ago. So you were a teenager last time you saw each other. Tori, I'm a, that's my firstborn. She tells people I starved her, beat her. People think I'm an abusive mother. None of that's true. That's one of my traumas that hurts me the most. And you wasn't even scared calling me a liar. It's been 21 years. You starved us when you was mad at us. You beat us. Oh, you didn't burn me with the iron? Well, let's talk about that. Stand Come on, mom. You better get her for I get her. Because I don't That's care about problem. none of these cameras. That's the, thing. the way she's threat lying, threat the way Toriana is what lying, is crazy. Of? What you're so afraid it's of? It's crazy. But hold on, so First of all, y'all let her talk, so it's my turn now. I would love to, I would love to hear your point of view. Now. I would love to hear your point of view. But the I way, I mean, if, I'm not trying to get rowdy and make a scene, but at the end of the day, I called the show. I understand. I called the show. I hit her up because right. I care so about my daughter. Why because y'all let her say what she say, now I'm going to say what I got to say. I want to hear it. Because I'm telling you, I don't care nothing about these cameras on here. Me. Take a seat for me. Let me hear what you got to say, though. It's crazy. If you want to tell me, tell me what you have to say. I hit the show up, okay? okay? Because I was really sitting there thinking, at first I had got to a point like, you know what, she older, I don't care, she disrespectful, whatever, I don't apologize. When was the last time you saw her? Saw who? Her. This is... Um, five, almost five years ago because it was COVID and we video chat a couple times. So but... the last time y'all seen each other in yeah. person is five years yep, ago. Yep, almost five years this ago. This is the first time today. Yep, yep. Okay. And you are 21. Mm -hmm. So you were a teenager last time you saw each other. I was in high school. High school. Okay. Let me tell you something. I'm not perfect. I'm not I perfect. never okay. came on here to portray myself as perfect. Let me tell you something. If I did all this abusive yeah. that so Toriana said it, I work for the state. I've been working for the state for five name. years, taking care of people. Baby, you want to see my license when we get off of here? Anyway, anyway, this is what she want. So I knew the only way to get in and get her attention is to bring her on here. She's a narcissist. Mm -hmm. She a liar. And no at the end of the day, at, at the end of the day, Toriana, I sat there. We didn't talk. Toriana been away from me. All my kids been Over away from me for a Over long a decade. time. So who's okay, the and it's not. So y'all gotta get her off of here. Can I ask you this? No, y'all gotta get her you off get so of here. Y'all gotta get her off of here because I cannot speak without her keep saying what she's saying. I'm telling you, I, I can't know. We're not gonna do this because at the end of the day, I'm a realist, okay? I admit to anything that I did. I'm not perfect. I had Toriana when I was 17. And after that, like, nobody taught me, nobody gave you a book no. about how to parent. I actually had Toriana when I was in foster care. So after that, I had my kids back to back. I did what I was supposed to do. I wasn't perfect. The house wasn't always clean. They might have got some whippings where it was a mark. But Karamo, I never have anything on my record about abuse. None of that. None so of that. Can I, ask you a I never went to jail. Well, None so of that for no question? abuse. Can you? Because as people who watch the show know that right. I spent over a decade working in social services. Right. So you said that none of your kids are with you. That they were removed from right. the house. Right. So what was the conditions and why they moved, removed them from the house? Okay, May mm -hmm. 2009, I went out of town to go see my grandmother. I had never left my kids, never been nowhere. I had people in my house that, that had been around my kids since they was little. Fast forward, went out of town. Like a day later, I get a call from the ACS worker telling me, oh, um, your son, your, and my son was like six at the time, I think. 
My son had walked to school by himself and a stranger picked him up. Down south, you have to be supervised to get on the bus down mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. But because of that, I had got a CPS case. Right around this time when they was doing the investigation, my mother asked, could she take the kids? And even though I was in foster care and I had history with my mother, I trusted her enough. One of the stipulations was she wasn't supposed to have them around my cousin. They called me and said, listen, we specifically told your mother to not to have them around the kid, um, um, your around cousin. cousin. Mm -hmm. Do you want your kids in a foster home or do you want them with their father? They had already took, like, already gathered them up. My mother already told them that I left my kids for some man on the internet knowing that I went to go see her mother. I came back down south. We went to court. They was just saying, they told me prior to this, like, you're not going to get your kids back today. So I'm like, well, how am I going to get my kids? They said, you have to hire a lawyer and go into court. All day lawyers. So, so the problem that I'm having with the story, just from working in this right. field, is that normally, if you've gotten to the place of a court case, right. that means there has had to been some signs of neglect and abuse for them to take it that far. <laughs> and I understand the neglect part when your right. son was caught on the street. Right, right, right. And I understand that maybe there could have also been signs of the abuse from <clears throat> with, right, right, right. from with this person being around. But at that point, they would have given the kids back to no, you unless there was more. I'm telling you the truth. Mm -hmm. If I wish that I could have. I could show y'all all the go funds, emails, everything, me trying to contact lawyers to get my kids. This it. is the truth. I'm not lying. So what happened during that time? Karamo. Did they discover more neglect Karamo. or abuse? let me tell you something. I'm not going to sit here and act like I ain't had no ACS case, CPS cases or nothing. Toriana got taken away from me um, when she was two years old. And what happened during that time? Toriana, she went to go live with her father. Some things happened. She ended up in a group home. And so when she got a certain age, she was able to make her own choice where she wanted to live. Um, around this time, my children's father had got killed. And I ended up going back down south but to try to get my other kids back. But at the time, Toriana was living with somebody. Mm -hmm. And she felt like, you know, no, she didn't No, the have problem to... was you didn't want us to have a, a mother and daughter relationship. You was afraid that me and her was building that mother and daughter relationship, that you stepped in between that first, and broke it up. Because first of all, that's the truth. Show them how you get! Show them how you get! This conversation is about to take a dramatic turn. That's my trauma! That's my trauma! Is there any way this relationship can be saved? I hate that woman! Take a deep breath. <laughs> you are the cop. Get off my stage. show up okay. okay she's a narcissist she a liar she felt like you know no she didn't the have problem to... was you didn't want us to have a, a mother and daughter relationship First of all, that's the truth that's Karina, not what we're talking about. Real. Let's go. No, no, you no, haven't. No, you haven't. you want to say no, I'm a liar, we're going to no, talk about haven't. everything. No, Shamira, I'm going to ask you this. Am I child? Have nothing to do with this if at you call, all. If you call the show asking. What the f***? Call the show asking to repair. You're sick. No, you're sick. You're about to you out of here. Do and it. You're sick. Do it. Toriana, don't do it. play show with me. Show them how you really Because I'm going to go to jail show today. Them. Show them. No, show, show them how you got somebody show else wrong. Show them how you got somebody show else wrong. That's why don't nobody want to f*** with you. Show them how you want to f*** with you. Show them how you want to f*** with you. Toriana, I'm not worried about none of that. I ain't worried about none of that. I'm not worried about none of that. You're going to die old men from having no relationship with none of your kids. Just like that. Cool. You're cool. never going to change. Cool. That's cool. your problem. Cool. You're never going to change. Cool. You're never going to change. Cool. You're never going to change. I'm going to take, take five minutes. If you can just step back. Cool. Yeah, she got to step back. I'm telling you. What's, that's a Toriana, threat. go ahead. That's a threat. You're doing this that's for the cameras. No, you're doing you're this, this for the cameras. You're doing 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 this for the c
stupid, little bitch. bitch. I don't go give a ahead, fuck. Go ahead. I don't care. Go ahead. I don't go care. Ahead. I don't give a fuck about TV. This real life. Yes, you do. 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 Call the show, but I want TV yep. time. I don't give a f about TV. What? TV. 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 Everybody in my business. They in my business. Me. Look at you. Get the f out of here with that. I f hate that woman, and I try so hard to redeem myself and try to get on a positive. No, can let that go. But I see that never gonna go. There's never gonna be no peace ever. I'm like, her say what she got to say. I'm not, take because actually, at the end of the day, yelling is not going to get nowhere. It's not. Yeah, I want you to do this. Take a deep breath for me. Take, drink some water. Take a deep breath. Okay, but y'all ain't even hear my it. side, though. Y'all ain't even hear my side. You hurt me. I grew up in foster care. I understand her pain. You understand? I understand her pain. But I'm not, nah, man. Nah. For real. It's crazy. Here, we never had you out here because you don't need to engage in this anymore. You need to protect your life. I'm done. Okay? I'm done. You don't need to be That's back That's it. Anymore. Because y'all really trying to play the out of me here, yo. I'm done. I'm not doing this. I'm ready to leave. Y'all really tried to play the out of me. Y'all knew exactly what the y'all was doing. You invited us to this party. You invited us right, right. and to set the table. Right. And then you the one who flipped the table. Don't go away and don't miss the emotional conclusion to this story. The truth of the matter is today on this stage, you broke it. I'm gonna take five minutes. If you can just step back. Some yeah, she gotta step back. I'm telling you. What's that's a Toriana, threat? Toriana, go ahead. That's a threat. You're doing this for the camera. No, you're doing, you're doing this for the camera. 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 You're doing this for the because I try to see the best in people. And one of the things that I do on this stage is like either we're gonna come here to heal or either you're not coming here at all. We're not gonna do this. And I am so sorry, so, so sorry that she got brought on this stage to do this to you. What you went through was real. She had no right to call you, you know, a liar. I some type of resolution to it. That's the thing. I don't just walk around with just hate. I actually wanted to be I know. some type of bond. That's why you showed up. I know. That's why you showed up. But she's not in a space to do that. She, her motives for coming here was to make herself feel Look better. Look like the victim. Yeah, that's what was her motives, and I caught that immediately. You are an amazing young woman, and I am so sorry for everything that happened to you. I'm sorry that I couldn't help you to bridge some relationship with your mother, but she's not ready. And when she, if she's not ready, you don't deserve to be in the crossfires or whatever she's going through. You hear me? Give me a hug. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, you sweet thing. I'm so sorry. I love my daughter. I don't care what nobody say. Like, I ain't coming on here to try to humiliate her or try to make her look bad. You're not going to keep running with this narrative like, oh, I abused my kids. I just left my kids. Toriana, no. Y'all really, y'all really, y'all got me, though. I'm confused. And I'm being sincere. Right. I'm confused. How do you think we got you? Because I've been trying to stay calm with you out there. You invited us to this party. You invited us right, right. and to set the table. Right. And then you the one who flipped the table. I flipped the table? Yes, ma'am. Karamo. The fact that y'all started going off. Right. And the fact that you said you came here for a relationship, I got to tell you, and it's just honest. Okay. You got to be able to one day look at your own. We all got to take responsibility for our actions. Of course. In this moment, the responsibility of how this went was on you. Wow. I, but I really did I didn't not tell do you, that. I didn't tell you I wanted you to admit. No, you said she wanted me yeah, to Yeah, and I didn't say that you had to. What I'm saying is that you have to at least be able to hear her. She's a child. I heard her. You didn't hear nothing. All you did was came out and started screaming at her. I heard you her. You came out here and started defending. Backsta backstage, you I heard, heard her. You heard her, but you didn't really hear her. You started defending immediately. Wow. You started defending. You started defending. I, what I wish for you is because the, the, you had a daughter who was here and really wanted to try to figure out something. Right. You wanted something, and you took the relationship even back. I'm going to tell you that right now. 
your actions took it back. No matter what happened in the past, here on this stage today, you broke it. You took it back. So no matter what happens in the past where you say that was her truth or not truth, the truth of the matter is today on mm -hmm. this stage, you broke it. Mm -hmm. You broke your daughter's relationship. You broke the relationship okay. you could have built. You did it, and okay. I watched it. Okay. And I just hope that after you leave here, you reflect on how you reacted because that reaction is what caused a chain of reactions that didn't need to happen. I really do wish you were the best of luck, but this, she shouldn't have come here today. If you weren't really ready to listen to her and talk to her, you shouldn't have invited your daughter here today because what you just did is you triggered a little girl. Wow, so it's my fault, okay. Yes, today okay. is your fault. Okay. I wish you the best of luck. Good luck.